All right, it's the fastest 15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes in social media. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, but most of all, y'all, hit the love, love button. <laughs> I, I just like saying that. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to talk about Kanye West again, because uh, it's like a lot of stuff surfacing. Uh, I guess uh, some artist uh, created a statue of Kanye uh, as Jesus, and they put it out on the street uh, out in Los Angeles. And um, anyway, I don't even think the stat. I looked at it like real hard. I don't even think it looks like him. I don't know. It looks probably a little. I don't know. It looks more like a, a angry Kevin Hart or something like that. <laughs> but anyway, you know, well, well. But anyway, it's supposed to be Kanye, right? So now we we got a lot of stuff going on here because you know people. People are tripping. Y'all are tripping. First of all, Kanye is an instrument of white supremacy and racism. All right. And so now, of course, like I said on the other on the other video, I was trying to explain to y'all the only thing that black people will go for after you screwed up. First of all, slavery was a choice. All right. We got all that stuff. Then all of this, you know, all of this stuff, he's charging money to get into these Sunday services. Okay, so instead of taking up an offering or whatever, you got to pay $50 up front. Then they had the whole fiasco about the the brunch or whatever. And it, it looked like, I mean, it didn't even look, look, I've been to jail and the food that they were serving didn't even look as good <laughs> as the jail food. <laughs> it, looked, it looked supremely nasty and there was no syrup or nothing. It was just nasty looking. And so the company, you know, I don't know how much, if he paid the company off to say it was their fault or whatever, but whenever you're serving people stuff, you know, and, and my grandmother and my aunt were caterers for a long time. They catered, you know, a lot of different parties and stuff like that. And the one thing that you always is like, you check everything and you make sure that you wouldn't serve anybody something that you would eat yourself or that it doesn't look good because, you know, like half of food is the way it smells and the way it looks. And you really, you know, because if it looks good and it smells good, then most people don't have a problem with eating it. But anyway, <laughs> that's that's a whole nother rant for a whole nother time. But anyway, and so then this morning, there's like another post up there talking about is Kanye is preparing us for the Antichrist. So once again, you know, because of, of my um, my knowledge of scripture and my <laughs> and my my whole thing, my comedic background now and all the studying that I've done. First of all, let me explain something to you. Um, you know, the, in the, in the, uh, epistle, one of the epistles of John, I don't know which one I'm not going to go, but y'all go look it up. All right, go look it up. Cause I'm, I'm really like beyond studying the Bible now, but he talks about the antichrist and what he says is he says what, that the antichrist is already in the world. Okay. So this was written, this was written 2000 years ago. So if the Antichrist was in the world 2,000 years ago, don't y'all think that the Antichrist is probably still here and all the stuff that goes on and all the stuff that happens and everything like that? Don't y'all think that probably the Antichrist is still here? And if y'all saw my if y'all saw my post about the Antichrist, you will know that the Antichrist is you. <laughs> It's not no, there is no, nobody else coming. There's no other, you know, nobody's going to fall out the sky and, and be the antichrist or anything like that. You are the antichrist because what the antichrist is part of your chakra makeup. Okay. It's part of what you are. It's part of your being, your lower self, your lower self and your higher self. Your lower self is the antichrist. Your higher self is the Christ. Simple. It's not that it's not that hard. It's nobody outside. It's all basically it's a metaphor. It's metaphorical. And it's just talking about people, you know, being in certain situations or whatever. Now, is is Kanye uh the Antichrist? <laughs> he might be to himself, yes. Or to those that, that he is fooling or whatever, yes. But to people that are woke and have knowledge. Probably not. He's, he's not going to because he's not going to interfere with my uh, ascension to my higher self. And anybody who, who tries to uh, bother your ascension to your higher self is an antichrist to you. That's what it is. 
If you can't ascend to your higher self because there's something blocking you or something hindering you or something put there, uh, like white supremacy is, is antichrist. Why? Because it's trying to keep you from your higher self. That's why we, that's why we preach this stuff. We don't just preach this stuff be, to be like, you know, we're trying to show you the comedic science and spirituality, which the Western world, Greeks and Romans and all of that try to get rid of, eradicate. They try to get rid of it because they don't want you to have that knowledge. Because if you have that knowledge, it's hard for somebody to enslave somebody, control somebody, or or take advantage of somebody that has that that has that higher knowledge. So and what you're doing, even you know, and I talked about ascending, being able to ascend to your higher self, to your seventh chakra, and and even the Hindu. And I've been studying a lot of this Hindu stuff lately, and they believe like you have hundreds of chakras. They don't just believe you have seven; they believe you have you literally have hundreds. And they're like all these little energy, you know. And I guess that's probably even when it comes down to the um, to the science of of uh, acupuncture and different sciences of healing and all that kind of stuff, knowing that there are different points and different pressure points and all that on the body. It's, it's just saying, look, there's a lot of knowledge that we don't use and that we don't have. And that, and that, and that people try to get us to avoid using so that they can control us and so that they can keep power over us. Remember, the Bible, by its own admission, is only 6,000 years old. By its own admission, some of these religions have been here for 30, 40, 50, 60,000 years. They, and that's just a, that's a conservative estimate. So what were people doing before Jesus? You know, all of a sudden Jesus comes on. And then, so I, I'm just trying to explain to you that, look, there is spiritual knowledge and spiritual science that is out there. You know, alchemy, you know, like just people like all of a sudden, what do you think pharmaceuticals are? They're alchemy. They're just, it's just, they, they took the practice of alchemy and made it into a business. But, but look, people have been practicing alchemy for thousands of years before the Bible ever came about. All right. And even the Bible has a story in there talking about the woman with the issue of blood. What? They couldn't heal her. They had to heal her spiritually. She had to get healed spiritually. She never got healed, you know, through through stuff that was going on in the physical plane. So wake up. All right. Just y'all just wake up. The Christ or the Chris is a comedic term. It is not Christian. It has nothing to do with a God named Jesus Christ. It never has and it never did. Even the Greeks and Romans know that. All right. And that's why they study the comedic sciences in secret. That's what they do in the skull and bones and in all these different secret societies and all that kind of stuff. They go and they study this stuff and they learn this stuff. And that's how they formulated the new world order. They didn't just they didn't just formulate the new world order. They took they they took what was already there and they believed them. Why? Why would you believe it? Because y'all saw what they did. Look, anybody that in ancient times, look, fifty thousand years. If you go and look at those, in fact, I'll post it later on my Facebook timeline. There's a picture of the Sphinx and it has all these lines around the bottom of it. Well, some some uh, some geologists and some archaeologists determined that those lines were water lines. That at one point the Sphinx was actually in sitting in water. All right, and that that whole area there, um, you know, in ancient times was probably flooded either from the Nile River basin or from somewhere else, or it might have just been water. And then if eventually it dried up because they believe that about about a lot of the deserts, that the deserts at one point were ocean bottoms. So listen, y'all, it's like, stop, stop always, you know, because these things are metaphors, they're allegories, they're parables, they are things to make you think and to make you understand your relationship between what? Between the universe and who you are, the universe inside of you. That's all they are. And, and, and we try to make this holier than thou. Look, there is no, look, Christ ain't showed up. The Antichrist ain't showing up. It's you. It's all you. It's about you. And once again, the Antichrist is your lower self or your root chakra, your 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 uh, your Kundalini, whatever, because that's what makes you do stuff that you that you don't want to do. Because what is strictly impulse It's strictly urges. 
okay? But your higher self, once you get to your sixth chakra and you open that penile gland and you and you have that that knowledge, and once you get the knowledge of spirituality, then what happens, then you can advance up into, and even, once again, even the Bible talks about it. Who can open up the third, who can open up the seventh seal? The seventh seal in the book of Revelations is talking about opening up your third, uh, opening up your third eye chakra. If the eye be single, right? Right? If the eye be single, not the eye be double. If the eye be single, so opening up that third eye leads us to enlightenment. And once you reach enlightenment, you get to your crown chakra. And then what the scriptures even tell you what? The scriptures tell you that you shall receive what? A crown. They knew comedic spirituality. And all that is, you know, all this stuff is in there. You know, the the, the um, even the, the whole thing about the, the crucifixion and dying to self and all of that kind of stuff. That's what it's about. It's about opening up your spiritual eye. And then once you open up your spiritual eye, then being able to ascend to your higher self. That's all it's about. And everybody tries to make a big deal. And, they, and, and so what they did was they created a religion. They created a religion to entrap you. Do you understand? Look, with, with governments around the world, I'm not talking about just the United States government. I'm talking about governments around the world, European governments around the world, since, since they found out this information, have tried to prevent you from opening your penile gland. It's true. And, and to this day, in the United States of America, they put fluoride and toothpaste and drinking water and everything else to try to calcify your pineal gland. They really do. And that's the whole reason why they do it. It doesn't have any, it has no medicinal purpose to it at all, except to calcify your pineal gland. So Christ, the Antichrist, once again, is you. It is your lower self. It is your root chakra. That is what the Antichrist is. That's how come John in the in, in his book, in his epistle, was able to tell you that what? The Antichrist is already here. <laughs> because it's inside. They just didn't tell you that. Look, not only is it already here, but it's you. Because you and anything that you do that is against your nature or against your higher self is what? Is Antichrist. Anything I do that's against my higher self or to ascend to my higher self is anti-Christ. That's what it is. So now Kanye. So let's get back to Kanye. So Kanye is doing all this crazy stuff, right? And all of a sudden he's turned into a Christian. And once again, it's to keep you in religion. They have a vested interest in keeping you as Christians. Why? Because of what I just said. They do not want you to be enlightened. If you become enlightened, you know, then they can't control you. They cannot control a God. They cannot control an enlightened person. That's why they're going after people. That's why they got Snoop recording that. That's why they, that's why they dogging out Kirk Franklin. You know, Kirk Franklin got this boycott going on. The reason why they're dogging out Kirk Franklin right now is so that y'all will get behind him and support him and be like, oh, poor Kirk Franklin. But they want you to stay locked into their religion. They created this religion to keep you locked in, to keep you powerless, to keep you from ascending to your higher self. That's why they did it. The same thing. Snoop Dogg. Oh, yeah. My man Snoop. Yeah, I smoke weed. Blah, 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 blah. To keep you from it. Because they don't want you to ascend. They want you to stay in, 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 the, in the situation that you're in. And be beholden and dependent on them. That's what Christianity does. It makes you dependent on something outside of you when everything that you need is already on the inside of you. Everything that you need, want, and desire is already in the universe and already you have the capability to unlock it. You really do. I'm just, I'm just trying to let you know, you don't have to suffer, you know, through Antichrist <laughs> because that's what all this stuff is designed to do. And Kanye, once again, he's an agent of white supremacy. Think all, I mean, this man is walking around wearing a Make America Great Again hat, talking about slavery was a choice, and supporting the most racist, one of the most openly racist presidents we've ever had, Donald Trump. So anyway, think about it. 
Think about it. Message. You're the Antichrist. <laughs> anyway, like, subscribe, uh, share, all the buttons. Love button.